Today we have a special guest here. This is a old Xbox One, the first series Xbox Ones and Xbox One console, the model 1540. And the client brought this one in and he's a guy is really noisy and uh, it's running really hot. And he said that he never you know, serviced it. He didn't even know that he needed a service until recently somebody told him. And he brought it in and I'm gonna open it up and I just took one cover off and I'm like, okay, I gotta make a video. So I show you guys what happens when you guys don't service your console. Right away from down here from the vents, I can see it's all clogged up and it's full of dust. And obviously there is no room to breathe. So I'm gonna go over how I'm gonna go open it quickly. I made another video how to open you and service yours, but this one I'm just gonna go run quickly over and see what's going on underneath. So first thing first, you want to grab a spatula, you want to stick it on the side of the panels, you're going to pop these panels open. So right away I can see a whole bunch of dust in there already. So there we go. And that's the side panel only. Disgusting. And once we remove that, we're going to remove the lock right here. We're going to slide this one backward. And we're gonna remove the back panel. We gotta push in and out this side to release the clips on the back side. And then we're gonna lift it open. We're gonna put the finger right there. And we're gonna stick the opening tool right there to open a few clips at the back. You can use a spatula if you don't wanna damage the plastic, but. You have to go right underneath. With one hand, I'm pulling it. With the other hand, I'm trying to get those clips under this cover. Loosen up. Once you loosen it up, we're going to lift up from the back. We're going to bring it gently, wiggle it around towards the front. I'm going to rotate. Lift it up, bring it. And it should release itself on the front. You don't want to yank it. There should be a flex cable right there somewhere right there you want to bring it to offset position and you should see a flex cable right in there you want to untangle this flex cable over and you want to unlock it and you're going to release it there is a flex cable right there so there's your bottom cover this one to release it we can release all these hooks by pulling it backward And you should be able to release it. One more hook right there. One more hook. There we go. So we can take it outside and clean this one up. And down here we see the whole console all clogged up. Look at all that. Look at all this. And on the other side is even worse. To remove this, we're gonna first untangle the speaker, the Wi-Fi antenna from here, and we're gonna start removing the big screw on top. I need my other screwdriver, which is not over here. Again, remember the proper way of taking it down. I explained it in details how to do it in my other videos, and in this video, so I'm just rushing through. So for you guys, get an idea what happens when you don't service your consoles. So I'm just gonna fastly, quickly turn, remove all these screws. We're gonna remove the top cover. And we are gonna remove this Wi-Fi extension right there. So there's your dust all over the place. And there's a dust right in here everywhere. So yeah, we gotta clean up a lot of cleaning to do here. We can remove the tray. And we can see a whole bunch of dust right underneath. And everything is clogged up. The heatsink underneath, everything is clogged up. 
Let's remove this one, put it on one side. Let's go ahead and remove the DVD drive and lift up the DVD drive dirty as hell and the hard drive. All right, I'm gonna take it outside. I'm gonna blow some air and clean it up and you wanna blow air to the fan, make sure you disconnect the fan. So I'm gonna use a toothbrush and take it outside with a uh, dry compressor that I use. I'll put the link in the video description in case you want to get yours. And we're gonna clean up and I'll be back right after. All right, I cleaned up as much as I could the board and it's right nice and clean. Now we're gonna quickly repaste, but before repasting, we gotta remove a few more screws in the front of the panel. And uh, we gotta remove the heat sink and apply the thermal paste under, under the C heat sink. So, again, if you wanna see the proper way of doing this detailed video, I have made a video for those. But in this video, I'm just gonna go quickly over everything so it can be a really quick video. So we're gonna remove the screws, few screws on the bottom. Now we removed most of the screws, everything. Uh, we have one more screw on the side. And the clips on the front. And uh, we can take the motherboard out. A little hinge at the back. We need to work it around. And it will release itself. We are gonna remove the X clamp. With the X clamp, I'll use two tools, one pointy tool. You can get a screwdriver and just point it out, make it just nice and pointy. You wanna stick it right on the end of the X clamp and rotate it on the side of the X clamp. I'm just sticking it right there. And it will come out pretty easy. You wanna lift it up and the thermal paste is bone dry. There's no thermal paste almost left in there. Okay, we're gonna clean up the thermal paste. We're gonna grab a workshop towel. And we're gonna grab an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. We're gonna soak it in there. And we're gonna rub over the crystal dye. All we need to worry about is the crystal dye. We don't need to remove the excess of the thermal paste around it. We don't wanna damage the capacitor. Just leave them the way it is. Just clean up the dye. If you want to scrub it, grab a plastic squeegee, like any kind of squeegee, a plastic one to rub against on the aluminum heat sink. There we go. And then the rest, clean it up with the alcohol. And we're gonna apply our thermal paste. We're gonna put one nice big line in the middle. We're gonna grab, make sure the orientation for the cable is in the right position. We're gonna put the pan down. We're gonna bring it over and we're gonna coordinate the screw holes, bring them down and make sure you go straight over and do not lift it up again. Hook in the X clamp right in there. Right on one end first. Bring it on over, just push it down, make sure it holds it in place. And put the fan connector. You wanna grab the bottom cover, the housing, I mean. And put the back end down. Right in there, make sure it hits right to the ground, right in the corners. Put three studs on the front end, quickly. But the quicker you finish, the quicker you can start playing. All right, there we go. Put the studs right in there, they have a little clippers. Grab the side slot, start right here. And put the screw for this one. Once you have this one in, you wanna gently put it upside down and you wanna put the four screws for the X clamp right in here. Right there, now we're gonna put the front panel. Put the connector right there, put the three screws for the front panel. 
All right, you want to clean up your workplace. Now we're going to grab the rest of the things. You, time, you can take your time to clean it even better than me. So it depends how much detail you want to put on yours. It all depends up to you. Put the bottom casing in here. Now we need to put the hard drive that we cleaned up in its place on the back. Put the connectors, the hard drive connector. Grab DVD drive, put the DVD drive in place. You have to go right into the holes. Put them right in there. Make sure it's nice and snuggled in there. We're gonna grab the top cover. We're gonna put this one, the Wi-Fi connected all the way down. You wanna bring the top, align it, set it down. Put the long screws. Two tiny screws for the DV for the Wi-Fi card. Connect the Wi-Fi connector right there, and all set. Double check the screws. I'm missing two more screws, which I have no idea. One is from there. One is from back there. All right, now we are almost done. We are gonna put the top cover. We're not gonna put the front panel yet, so we're gonna put, sit down the top cover first. We're gonna push down, all nice and snugly in there. Uh, we are gonna put the flex cable for this one here. So we are open it up. We are somehow have to manage to slide it in there without damaging the flex cable. So I just set it down flat and then slide it back and it will go to its place. Now I'm gonna lift it up, put the bottom side under hinges and then simply just tap in on the top side. This is the proper way, that way you don't stress the and plastic. Put this slider backward inside in here. Have to slide nice in the tray, nice there. And put the cover right over. And there we go. And that's how you can service your Xbox straight right under 15, 20 minutes really quickly. And this was one of the dirtiest Xbox that I have ever seen. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Again, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. It motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Until next video.